Last night, I was sitting on the couch. Boo doo 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 doo. Minding my own fucking business. Boo doo 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 doo. Um, I was watching Metal Mania on VH1. Metal Mania, Cleo. I think my dog is sleeping with with its eyes open. Oh no, she just moved her eyebrows. Dude, where the fuck did you just go? Huh, Cleo? Whatever you're thinking about, it's gonna be okay. All right. Anyways, you know it's weird when my dog sees a squirrel through a window, it it cries <laughs> like like it's a long lost buddy. But if my dog is outside and there's a squirrel, you know, if there's no window between my dog and the squirrel, it will try and rip its fucking head off. So I don't. Does anybody know anything about dogs? What is it crying about? Is it crying like, oh, oh I want to rip its head off? Oh, I wish I could just end that thing's fucking life. You don't make any sense to me. Anyway, so I'm watching fucking Metal Mania. Alliteration. This has got to be a hit show, right? So I'm watching this shit. And uh, at the risk of pissing off a lot of listeners, I think most metal slash hair metal, it arguably is the worst fucking music ever made worse than disco i don't know why disco gets such a bad rap like disco is the is the default example of bad music the way hitler is the default example of of evil dude he's the next hitler it's always the next fucking hitler never pull pot you know never fucking i don't know pick another i don't even know another one you know ivan the terrible was that a wrestler (laughs) Or is that a comic strip? I don't horrible hagger. I don't fucking know, right? See, I don't even. I don't even have any other examples. Well, whose fault is that, Bill? There's a library right down the street. Oh, go fuck yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody always talks about disco and how bad disco was, and there just needed to be a change, man. Right? And like, then they'll talk about like the police and all this new wave shit and the punk scene and all that. But what they they completely fucking ignore is that right after disco, uh, just immediately the mainstream then went over to like this fucking heavy metal music. Like that was better than disco. I think it's fucking worse. And I, I think all these times where they keep saying that everybody, there was a big change and that this quality music came out. I don't know if that happens. I think it just, you know, you know, Nirvana comes around and then what? Four years later, everybody's listening to fucking O-Town or the mainstream is. It's just this long, tragic, just flat line of shit music. I was watching the shit last night, shit that I used to like, and my jaw was on the ground how fucking bad it was. It was horrible. I, I actually, I, it was so bad I was like texting paragraphs to the sensation, Joe DeRosa. Capitol Records, the guy who built Capitol Records, Joe DeRosa. I'll actually, you go, well, I'll, I'll get a little intimate here with you. I'll, I'll read you the text message I fucking wrote Joe. Oh, Joe, where the hell are we? Where the hell are we? Joe, hair slash heavy metal is the worst music ever made. Disco gets a bad rap. Watching Metal Mania on VH1, Guns N' Roses, Queensryche, Wasp, Quiet Riot, David Lee Roth, solo shit. It's fucking god awful. Yeah, I saw David Lee Roth on on his uh, Eat Him and Smile tour. And I saw that video last night. Going crazy. From the heat. (laughs) That sounds like a song Wahlberg's character would have written with John C. Riley and Boogie Nights. Remember that? He will rock you. And he will roll you. Like it was it was that bad. Teenage Frankenstein? I'm a teenage Frankenstein. You're telling me. That that song is better than More Than a Woman? More than a woman. More than a woman to be. You know, I, mean, I, I think arguably it's, I don't know. I can't believe the shit that I used to li- watch. And like, I used to listen to this shit around chicks 
you know, just hopelessly thinking that this would get me laid like they would think that I was some badass, like loner. Bang your head. <laughs> I mean, the whole fucking, the fact that I never got laid in high school, it just fuck, it went away right in that moment. It was like, this is what I was going to do. I wasn't going to try to make him laugh. I wasn't going to hit on him. I wasn't going to try to jab him. I was just going to play this music around him, and this was going to bring me to the fucking promised land, looking like a fucking teenage Ron Howard. That was my game plan. Is it any wonder I failed? Jesus Christ. And I remember I would be watching it on a big square TV. Um... Just watch it. Lay it down. Lay it down. This fucking horrific fucking music. And my dad would come in and just have his face would just be all twisted up going, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you listening to? You like this shit? <laughs> and I thought I was a rebel. I mean, he doesn't understand, man. You know what? He totally understood. He totally understood. My dad called it back in 83. Called it jungle music. Says it's a bunch of shit. <laughs> he told me straight up. He came in, he was like, son, this music you're listening to is fucking horrible. And there was all these shout at the devil. Is anybody really going to sit there and defend that fucking song? Do, do, do. 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 Do, 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 do. You couldn't fucking... You- you could fucking, a five-year-old could write that on a xylophone. Shout at the devil. Never knew why we were shouting. You know? Blackie Lawless. Blackie Lawless. That was his show name. And he, he took a radial arm saw and he cut the blade in half and put one hat, one blade on one of his forearms and one on the other on these leather. Uh, I'm going to do a bunch of dishes in an evil way gloves. <laughs> And we all thought he was crazy. Dude, can you imagine if he gave you a forearm shiver? It, it was just, and he used to throw fucking raw meat into the crowd. A couple of them did that. That's why that Lady Gaga covering her clam in that fucking pastrami. It's just been done. You know, comes out in that fucking egg from Mork. I don't know. I've seen the nasally whore act my whole fucking life, you know. Those fucking chicks with the big noses, they, they can, you know, that's like white people's answer to the big black girl who can sing in church. We, we, what, what, the, what the chick we bring to that fight is the, it's the white chick with the big nose. White chicks with big noses can sing. I don't know what it is. Barbara Streisand, it's a riot to sing, right? I don't know. It's, it's like their nose is like, it's like that dome at the top of all those conf, conf, uh, concert halls. There you go, Bill. Try to spit it out, you dumb fuck. But um, I want some emails, people. I want people try to tell me how uh, round and round love will find a way. Just give it time. I mean, tell me. The musical validity that that has over, like, disco. That all those people probably at Comiskey Park, when they blew up those disco records, like, fucking five, six years later, that's what they were listening to. Nobody's fool, nobody's fool, nobody's fool. I'm no fool. That was a hit. That was a hit in the 80s. Wow. Do I owe my dad an apology? I, I just, I was sitting there just one video after a Queen's Reich. I mean, all this stuff that I thought was just fucking unbelievable. You know what? I'm going to get emails this week. It's like, I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be like, people are either going to be like, yes, absolutely. This is going to be, there's going to be no middle ground. People are going to 100% agree with me. Or uh, I'm going to get punched in the face by Eddie Trunk. <laughs> I just, I was taken aback. I mean, I hadn't seen those videos in fucking forever. Occasionally I'll go back and I'll look at some old videos. But I mean, a lot of it was like ACDC, like shit that can like, you know, 
I mean, Back in Black is timeless. There's some timeless shit in there. You know, I even watched that Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine, and I thought, I thought it was horrible. Whoa, sweet child of mine. And that little fucking shim sham dance he was doing, it just was... Oh, and then the emotion he tried to have in the end. Right, and then he kind of closed his eyes like, ah, oh, I really went somewhere. When I, I was just fucking horrible. You know, I, I was right there. I, I, I helped hold it up. Oh, Def Leppard, pour some sugar on me. I hated that when that fucking came out. And all the ladies liked it, and he came out in his acid wash jeans. I actually saw him on that tour. Didn't I? Yeah. Reynolds Coliseum and Tesla opened up. Tesla, which I didn't think they were that bad. They weren't that bad. I don't know. I thought you're supposed to go back and listen to the fucking music of uh, of your youth being like, wow, that stuff was aw- that was awesome, man. Remember that? And then, you know, that was the first time I tried blow, you know, reminiscent. <laughs> Actually, first time I ever saw cocaine uh Saw it and saw it being done was uh, at the Providence Civic Center. I saw ACDC on the Who Made Who tour with Loudness, the Japanese heavy metal band that couldn't speak any English yet sang in English. Um, I just can't imagine the disconnect. I can't imagine like memorizing a bunch of Japanese and going and over there and just singing it and then not knowing what the fuck I was saying. Going out there. <laughs> And everybody going nuts and just being standing there like, I have no idea what I just said. T-shirts are 20 bucks. Did I just say that or did I say, are you ready to rock? I have no fucking idea. Um, anyways, so I saw them. They opened up. And uh, anyways, we were out in the parking lot and we're drinking beers, thinking we're crazy. Driving, of course, because it's the 80s. This is right around before, right before Mad kicked in. They used to bring like wreckage from a fatal drunk driving accident. Did anybody else's high school do that? They actually brought a car from a fatal drunk driving uh, accident. And they dragged it onto the lawn of our campus. If you want to call it a campus, a little island with a tree. They just left it there. And we all just stared at it trying to figure out how many people were in the car, how many people died. And then we just walked away like, you know, and you're young. You don't give a fuck. Ten minutes later, you're talking about, dude, I'm getting fucking wrecked tonight. Wrecked. That was the word. I'm getting wrecked. I'm getting destroyed. Hammond. Right? So anyways, we're driving down there. Beer between your legs as you do. It's the 80s. You know? You fucking lifted weights all that week. Never, n- all of it above the waist. Curls. <laughs> fucking benching. Shoulders. Nobody did squats in the 80s. Nobody did, right? So you got your fucking tight 501 blues on with your little pencil fucking legs, and then your overdeveloped upper body, your stupid gold chain, and, uh, and you had a beer between your legs. That's how you did it. So we're fucking going down. They were probably on eight apiece, fucking hammered. Uh, I was driving this piece of shit 83 Ford Ranger. I got like five fucking drunk friends in the back. Which was still not even grounds for getting pulled over. You could just have people in the back like you were bringing fucking turkeys off to slaughter. Nobody gave a shit, right? So we pull in and right as I pulled up and I got a parking spot, there was this kid. He had his door open and he kind of had like a Sammy Hagar meets John Fogarty haircut, blonde hair. And I remember he fucking did a line right as I was pulling up and... I had fortunately had my window up and he saw me and he saw we all had ACDC T-shirts on or whatever. And he just got out of the car was just like, yeah! <laughs> it's, screaming. it's like a haunted house he came right up to the fucking window. And I was just trying to take it all in like, OK, he just how am I supposed to behave around somebody with with who's on coke? Does this guy have like, you know, Hulk strength right now? Is he going to tip over the truck? Um Anyways, that was the fr- that was the first time I saw blow. I don't even know what the point of all that was. I was just shocked. Look, I know it wasn't all bad, like this the uh, early Metallica, you know, right through Injustice for All. I know that that stuff was great, but uh, I'll tell you, it is slim fucking pickings, my friends. Slim pickings. 
Um, uh, I, I don't even, I didn't know what to tell you. I mean, I even go back sometimes. I try to listen to Appetite for Destruction. I know that's this, this watershed fucking moment in that music, but some of those fucking songs. They're out to get me so you can suck me. Take that one to heart. Ugh. Kill yourself. Um, all right. That ought to get me a lot of fucking criticism. The 1980s. The fucking 80s. Did I nail it, though, by the way? Everyone had the 501 blues? Remember that? Buttonfly, dude. I washed him three times and your nuts couldn't breathe. You know? And you wonder why you got all these fucking crazy kids that need to be on drugs now? Hey, what is worse? Hair metal or some of that fucking patriotic country music post 9-11? What, what is worse to you? What is more cringeworthy? You know? Um, shout at the devil. Or that, that Toby Keith, Uncle Sam's going to put a boot in your ass. Ugh. Um, oh, my God. Every dime that guy made in that song should have been thrown in his face and then given to the troops. Or something else. Or just, and then, oh, then, then a partial of it would be to incinerate any record that, that that track was ever recorded. The most pandering horseshit you could ever come out with. I hope I didn't piss you guys off too much by fucking trash and all that metal shit. You know, I have half those T-shirts, and I went to go see them. I was just embarrassed by some of that shit that I used to listen to. Um, oh, Jesus, right up until I was like 20, 21. Fucking brutal. What, 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 what redeemable thing did I have? I did listen to the Beatles, the Doors, the Stones, all that white boy shit. Stevie Ray Vaughan. I did listen to Hendrix. I listened to all the big bands swing through my dad, shit from the 50s. Uh, I had such a weird musical upbringing anyways, which was actually good because it was kind of all over the map. Um, I started hanging out with Patrice back in the day. Patrice was the one, rest his soul, got me the... Uh, I still remember when he got in that same piece of shit truck that I went to the ACDC concert in. Seven fucking years later, I'm still driving it, right? Making the sacrifices... Remember that? I told you, you don't get some fucking job and go out and buy a, a, a fucking new car. You just change yourself to your cubicle. I always kept my, I put a new engine in the fucking truck. Had somebody slap that in there for 1200 bucks, pay that down rather than twelve grand for a new car like it was back then. Um, so anyways, I still remember um, swinging by, picking Patrice up and going into Nick's and he had the cassette tape of Ready, uh, ready to Die and him putting that in. Um, telling me that this guy was going to be the next guy. And then through all of that, like he cured me of all the rap that a white kid liked who lived in a cul-de-sac. Um, and he showed me all the, all of that shit. So I had that whole background. All that stuff fucking held up. But the sh fucking metal that I listened to. I even watched like Lawrence Welk when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> One of the creepiest shows ever. Even that was fucking thrown in there. And it's funny, like fucking almost 40 years later, I'll be walking down the street and all of a sudden Winchester Cathedral will be going through my head. Winchester Cathedral, bo do 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 you're bringing me down. Am I really going to sing this? You could have done something. My baby left town. Whip, ba -da -ba 